Welcome back to The Basement, the friendliest place on YouTube. We are going to be playing The Legend of Zelda today, and I'm going to show you, with what, how to uh, get all the things that you need to get before you go into the first dungeon to be as prepared as possible. So our first objective here is to grab this sword, and that'll be a good time. I don't know if I'm going to finish this game in this little mini-series or not, but uh, this is meant to sort of be a, here's the best way to start The Legend of Zelda guide. Uh, for you guys. So you start the sword and you're going to head east and what you want to do is you want to kill everything as you go because we're going to be needing to collect money and bombs along the way. Um, now I have recorded this game before on this channel but we were a smaller channel with just a couple hundred or a few hundred subscribers when I recorded this solo and now the channel is at uh, 18,000 and so I thought it would be fun to try this again and see how it goes. I like this game. Uh, I think I could play it better this time than I did last time and I think I'll say uh, different more interesting things, uh, stories from my life and stuff like that. So we're just going to keep heading east. Watch out for that guy uh, shooting fireballs out of the Lake Hylia there. Now we haven't gotten any bombs yet but our first extra heart is right there. So we're going to keep heading east, and we're going to uh, eventually start killing some blue Octoroks, and those are pretty good about dropping bombs. I'm going to have to be careful enough to not lose more health than I gain. There we go. These red levers are pretty good for dropping hearts. Uh, all right, now these guys take two hits with your sword, but there's a bomb, and that is excellent news. In fact, that's kind of all we really need here, but I'm just going to go ahead and see if we can get another bomb, which we did. And look at that, we're back at full health, we're doing great. Eight bombs is the maximum you can carry in the beginning of the game, although you can upgrade that to 12 and 16 later on, which is wonderful news. Uh, let's use one of our eight bombs to grab ourselves a heart container. I'm going to go ahead and say the obvious thing here, don't get the medicine. Um, I do understand why they put the medicine there, though. Like People make fun of that, like, who would ever get the medicine? But the reason the medicine is there, guys, is because if you don't know how to unlock the ability to buy medicine then you're never going to get it in the game and it's really really useful and if i if i never figured out how to unlock buying medicine i think i would be tempted to take the medicine instead of the extra heart container because if you miss out on a couple extra heart containers but you have the ability to fill the rest of your heart containers with medicine well that could work out pretty good okay so once we get our first extra heart container we're going to head north 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 until we can't anymore we're going to kill this red lever, and uh, as long as we have the stopwatch, you may as well kill these blue guys. Even though... So the stopwatch stops them from moving, but does not stop them from going underground. <sighs> and I don't think it, it um, makes these other guys killable either. They fly, and they can, only, they can only be hit when they stop moving. It's like they landed. Uh, anyway, this is the screen where we're going to get our next uh, bonus heart so we'll place a bomb there oh i want that heart oh i don't even have oh move please i don't have the uh, i don't have the necessary gear to obtain that we don't have a boomerang yet okay uh heart container number two now there are five heart containers in the overworld but uh we can only reach two of them with bombs and one of them with an item that we can buy for 60 rupees. So that's going to be our next objective. Um, yeah, so we're at 29. We're halfway there. And I'll show you where that is. And we'll sort of save up as we're going there. And hopefully we can get it done. Those are the three heart containers. The two I got and the one we're on our way to. That I would recommend getting uh, before level one. If you just really want to set yourself up for success. Uh, level 1 is to the west right now. We sort of cross that bridge to a little island where it is, and uh, that works out great. Can you... <sighs> the game's difficult in the beginning. No upgraded armor, only three hearts. Um, and especially if you've played this game many times and you're sort of hasty with your fighting style and all that, it can be uh, a challenge to survive. The shield does help, but only when your sword isn't out. If you see what I mean. Uh, so the place that we would buy the item that we need to get the third heart container is a couple screens west here. It's the blue candle. And with the blue candle, you can burn bushes and uh, uncover stairs uh, that lead to wonderful places that have secrets. Um, and most of those secrets are beneficial. Some of them are very beneficial. And some of them are harmful. 
uh, a man inside of one of the secret doors may say, pay me for the door repair because you burned or bombed his door. And then he'll take rupees from you if you have them. <clears throat> but right now we're just sort of wandering around trying to raise raise some money. Oh, and you know what? Actually, I'll show you a place where you don't you don't need to burn. Uh, I should have done this when I got the second heart container. But you'll see what I mean. <clears throat> it's near that second bombed heart container that we got uh, on the map. Although I am taking kind of a twisty, windy way. Trust me, it's there. R this screen. We can touch one of these guys to um, make him move and there will be a secret staircase underneath him. And we can obtain 30 rupees. And that will put us over the top for... Oh, he's a fast one. It's a secret to everybody. I believe this is 30. Yep. Okay, so with these newfound funds, uh, it is time for us to go buy the blue candle and burn a particular bush that has a bonus heart underneath it. Uh, that's world two. Uh, level two. Dungeon two. Excuse me. Excuse me, Goria. Goria? I don't know. How do you pronounce the name of the enemies that are on the screen right now? Uh, for those of you Zelda nerds who are watching this just for fun, let me know. Um, because I'm not sure what the right pronunciation is. I can be a little cavalier with the damage right now, because we're approaching a free health fill-up. Just a couple screens north of here. And I suppose we should probably get it, <clears throat> since I'm beeping away. This never runs out. This is a handy place to stop by. I can remember being a kid and playing this game and not knowing where things were and using the ferry a lot. I would sort of camp here and fight enemies and save up rupees and buy things and just sort of stay nearby and revisit the ferry often um, to, you know, not die. Yeah, so if anyone's new to the channel uh, and we're seven and a half minutes into the video or so, uh, welcome. Thank you for stopping by. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're still here. Uh, you must be enjoying the content so far. Uh, just to let you know, we are Let's Play channel. Uh, Ted and I, my name is Peter. We put out videos every day. On Sundays, it's just me uh, on the commentary, but Monday through Saturday, it is both of us yakking away. We play a lot of two-player games. Um, we play a lot of interactive Let's Plays where we really take the comments to heart and let that decide how we play the game. Uh, and yeah, there's, a uh, uh, lately there's been Super Mario Odyssey, there's been Minecraft, there's been The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, um, and yeah, on Sunday there are usually longer videos, that's been Minecraft for a while, but we've also done Mega Man 2, Mario's 1 and 2, a little bit of Mario 3, this is a great place to buy this, I'm just pointing it out, uh, that's the best price on the Magic Shield. But we're not getting that before level one. We're just getting um, extra hearts and an upgraded sword. Do 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 do. All right, so we got the we got bombs, we got the wooden sword, we got the blue candle, and we've gotten three extra heart containers. And we are taking the time to fight extra enemies as we go, so that we're not constantly running out of rupees and. Um, needing to grind. Here's another secret location. Uh, a few free rupees. Bloop. So yeah, so we're on our way to go get the uh, the second sword. Uh, there are three swords in the game. You start with a wooden sword. Uh, that is a weak sword, but it's better than nothing, for sure. This is a location to buy medicine, although we can't use it yet. Uh, the woman who sells it refuses to talk to us unless we hand her a letter from an old uh, man saying uh, sell medicine to... Really, she's kind of like the pharmacy and the old man's kind of like the doctor writing out a prescription. <laughs> you got to go there and show your note and then they'll uh, take you seriously and sell you the medicine that the doctor says you need. Uh, yeah, but without that, we can't, we can't do it. And we're actually very near the place... Uh, these guys are difficult. They take a lot of hits. 
and their sword beams don't bounce off your shield unless you have the magic shield. Okay, so wooden sword upgrade to white sword. This sword is twice as powerful, so uh, if an enemy took four hits before, they now take two. I don't know why I re-entered that. Uh, what's really nice is that that guy in the water takes two hits, and when he disappears, his hit count resets, so then you can't get him, which is annoying. Okay, so back the way we came, actually, uh, pro tip, death will bring you back to the start screen with three hearts. So since we, where we're traveling to is close to the start screen and we were already at or below three hearts, we could just die, hit continue, and it's kind of like a shortcut to get back to where we want to be. Okay, so it's on to level one. We're going to beat level one and um, maybe upgrade our shield before level two. Maybe not. I don't know. Uh, the upgraded sword's going to help with level three. That will help us to earn a lot more money in three as we go through it. Two and three are the best grinding dungeons, in my opinion. But yeah, we're ready for one, and I'll give you some tips as we go through it as well. So that door is locked. If you leave and re-enter, uh, the door will be unlocked. It's only ever locked the first time you go in to the, uh, the dungeon. That's the only door I know of that, that works. Keys. Bats are called keys in this game. And there's a key that we could have used on that door, but now we just have an extra key. And extra keys can come in handy. Some dungeons have more locked doors than keys, and uh, you'll just have an easier time later in the game if you've got a few too many keys from the early game. These guys die in one hit because we upgraded our sword. That really makes this a lot easier. Uh, and we're at 55 rupees, so it shouldn't be too hard to get to 90 and be able to upgrade our um, shield. Now, before we get too far, we're going to want to upgrade our clothes, too. We're wearing the green tunic right now. The, the blue ring will turn our clothes blue, and it will also double Link's defense. So everything hits half as hard. Um, kind of like a, the same as the sword upgrade, but for your defense instead of for your offense. Which is wonderful. Um, but that costs 250 rupees, which is quite a lot to save up for. It's the most expensive thing in the game, and in fact, you can only carry 255. So, uh, that is significant. Now, if you push this, that door opens, and they give you a hint. We're not really interested in any hints, though. That little guy there is the map. Uh, in the top left corner of the screen, you'll see the map appear when you pick it up. That can help you find your way. Also, if you pause it, you have sort of a homemade map. See that in the yellow? There, that yellowish-orange? That tells you where you've been and where you've not been. So you can sort of piece together some good information from those two sources. Uh, continuing north here, we're going to eventually... I think we may get the boomerang in this room. These guys take, like, four hits, maybe more, maybe five? Um, with a wooden sword, so it, it really, this dungeon's not too hard, but it's, uh, it can be a little time consuming or annoying with a wooden sword. So I do recommend upgrading that sword before you go in here. It's all about, uh, you know, the, the benefit of coming in here with a better sword versus the cost of going all the way up to the top of the map and having enough hearts to pick up that sword. Something I didn't mention is you can't pick up the white sword unless you have at least five heart containers. Um, so if you go there just right away without any extra heart containers, you can't take the sword with you. <clears throat> I think the game is trying to prevent you from becoming overpowered too quick, but they failed to realize. Did I get the boomerang? I did not. I'll bet it's down and to the right. And we could go around, but I'm just going to go ahead and bomb this. We also could have saved a key by using the bomb hole earlier instead of going north from the room west from us right now. But that's okay. There's, there's, uh, If you've played this game before and you're a little familiar with it, there's plenty of keys. Oh, it's just the compass. Huh. Okay. I don't think we're going to get anything good from killing those guys. Did I, I, not, I didn't get the boomerang, right? Hmm. 
It is either between us and the end of this dungeon, or, uh... I was wrong about that far western room having a hint. It actually has the boomerang. I don't think so, though. I think it's this room. This seems right. Ow. Oh, we just got it. It appears in the room uh, once you defeat all the enemies, but I happen to be standing in the spot where it appeared, so now it's gone. Now, these guys are called wall masters, and they take two hits with a wooden sword, and if they touch you, they'll grab you and pull you into the wall, and you will find yourself in the first room of the dungeon again. So it undoes your work, which is rather frustrating. Okay, now if you have full health and your sword is shooting beams, you can stand here and just shoot beams at him, and he can't hit you with his fireballs. Ow. We'll just go ahead and take him out, though. There you see we got another heart container. Now we're going to get our first of eight pieces of uh, the one Triforce. There are two Triforces in this game. Uh, I think power and wisdom. Uh, and I believe we're collecting pieces of the wisdom Triforce and Ganon. The final boss has the power one. That would be my guess. Uh, but I'm not totally sure about that. Okay, so dungeon one complete. Uh, we're, what are we, 16 minutes in? Let's keep going in this video. Uh, I'd like to make these 20 minutes or longer. Okay, now let's see. We're at 79. We probably want to save up for... Mm, trying to think if we want... to get the blue ring or the shield... We're going to want to do both at some point, so we might as well get the blue ring first, I would say. So I'll show you a, uh, a shortcut to getting to 250 rupees. Well, you could, you could pick up that one. That would be helpful. Oh, you could pick up those five. This uh, stretch of screens I refer to as m Money Road affectionately, uh, because these blue jumpy guys are generous with the rupee drops, usually. But there's, the reason I'm actually down here is there's a screen that has, um... Hmm... A hundred rupees under one of these bushes, and I forget where it is. So maybe I won't be showing you that. Uh, I could show you a different... 100 rupee. Let's see. Which one do I want to show you guys? Uh, I suppose we're closer to the one to the left. Yeah, maybe we'll just grab 100 rupees, buy the shield instead, and then go into two. Two and three will give us a lot of money, and we can survive without the blue ring in two and three. And then uh, we should have enough to buy what we need to buy. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. Now. So there's uh, every little bit helps. We're up to 99. I got 99 rupees and uh, and that one. <laughs> ah. Okay, what am I doing here? I'm buying. I'm trying to buy. Oh, I'm trying to get. I'm showing you where the 100 is. Then we're buying the magic shield. And then we're going into dungeon two. That uh, that's another place to buy medicine, if you have the note from the old man. We do not right now. Okay, so you get to this spot off in the west where the woods are uh, brown. The trees are it's autumn, or the trees are dying, or whatever's happening here. And uh, one of these. opens up and is a rather lucrative secret to everybody. 100 coins. How great is that? Now, if you find yourself on the wrong side of this, you can uh, pass through by being in the top half of this. Like that. 201. Okay, let's go to Dungeon 2 and uh, see how much money we have when we come out the other side. Uh... But we are going to buy that shield first, as I as I stated. That spot where it costs 90 that I showed you, 
Um, we are close to that, I do believe. Woo! That projectile almost got me. It's on its way. So, basement dwellers, um, how are you doing today? What is new with you? Are you... Is this the first video on the basement that you've ever seen? Um, if so, tell me how you found it. Did you do a search for Zelda secrets, or did it come up in your suggested videos, or what is it that brought you here? If this is not the first video you've seen, uh, and you feel like Sharon, tell me how long you've been uh, a fan of the basement. Maybe you're a subscriber. Uh, maybe you've clicked the notification bell so that uh, you're notified every time we come out with a new video. Um, yeah, what? Do you remember what your first video was? Do you know about how long you've been a basement dweller? Uh, I would be interested to know. Ooh, I wonder if one of these is the 100 one. I don't know why I'm fighting that guy. Uh, yeah, we're not far enough east yet, but I will show you something. This is another medicine shop. It seems like they're... I would like to count, actually, and get a percentage. I wonder how many secrets there are in the overworld. How many of those go down the stairs things there really are. Because it feels like it might be almost half of all of the screens. Which is a lot. Boy, we're low on health. Okay, we're going to have to be... A little more careful here. See, if you let your... Oh, we do have the magic shield, too. If you let your shield do the work, uh, you can have a much higher defense than you would otherwise. Um, if your sword is always out, then you're getting hit by everything that's shot at you. Okay, so a boomerang would be smart. Stun your enemies with. There's a lot of ropes in this dungeon, which are snakes. And when they see uh they move very fast in a straight line at ya. So it's good to be prepared. Uh, they're also good about dropping rupees, though, which is very nice. Ow. So let's see if we can uh, be a little cautious and gain ourselves some health as we go. Ow. These guys are good at dropping health, too, actually. They're good. They're good about that. Mm. Don't hurt me. Now, sometimes you'll kill one enemy in a room and the rest will disappear. That's because you got the right one. Uh, that's true in some rooms. I don't know if it's always true in the same rooms or if it's always true in every room, exactly how that works. Apologize for this beeping, this low life beeping. Uh-oh. Yeah, that's not the room for us right now. That room contains the magic boomerang, which is an upgrade to our current boomerang, which doesn't go across the whole screen. The magic one does. Oh, yeah, this guy. Oh, I'm telling you, this is so much easier with a white sword. Oh, that's what we needed right there. Buy ourselves a little bit of breathing room. Now, I'm just kind of beelining north here because I know that um, an extra heart container and a health fill up awaits us just beyond the boss of this dungeon, which is not too challenging if you know how to beat him. Um, so... Yeah, it's a good plan for us to go do north, beat the dungeon, and then we'll do the other stuff that the dungeon wants us to do later. <clears throat> like, it will start us in the first room of the dungeon after we beat it, and then we can do the other things that we need. We don't need those bombs right now, because we're full on bombs. Speaking of bombs, uh, this is Dodongo. Switch over to the bombs, and uh, you'll want to put one in his mouth. Or if you stun him with smoke and hit him with your sword, he'll drop a bomb. Boom, and there we go. Another heart container. We're already up to eight. That's the first full row. We're halfway done with our heart containers already. We started with three. Got three more in the overworld and two more in the underground. And we're up to eight. And you know what? That's going to about do it for this episode of The Basement. Thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, come back next week for some more Legend of Zelda. We will go back into Dungeon 2 and get the Magic Boomerang. Uh, and maybe grind for a little bit of money as well. And uh, yeah, we'll have a good time. So if you enjoyed this video, uh, please be sure to hit the thumbs up button. That helps me out, lets me know you like this stuff. And it does help the channel health-wise, uh, helps grow. And until next time, Basement Dollars, uh, I think that you are more wonderful 
than a ice cream cone with several different flavors of ice cream that's so tall that you wonder if you're going to be able to finish it all in the basement. <laughs> 